This one's going to be on uh, Ghost Commander. It is a file manager for Android. And um, I really like this one because it has a, a dual pane. And you can also use uh, SSH with this. I mean, you can do some other stuff, which I'll explain in a minute. But uh, dual pane here. Depending on which uh, portrait mode, you, or yeah, depending if you're on portrait mode or landscape mode. If you're on landscape mode, they show you both uh, panes. But if you're on portrait, you, you have to, uh, you know, switch between the tabs here. Okay. So depending on what view you're at. Um, so how you use this here. If you're not familiar with uh, dual panes, you can actually navigate uh, over here, like your local storage here. And let's say you go to your um, download folder. Right, and then you just uh, jump over here and do uh, something else over here, totally different. Right, let's say you go to uh, your icons or whatever. Right, you can do two things, and if you want to, um, let's say this may make a copy or something. Let's say we copy uh, this one and also this Android one here. Right, so we have those two highlighted, and we want to copy it over. So they have different options down here. Right, you can also rename it if you want or you want to view it or edit if it's a text file uh, you can copy it or you can move it uh, or you can delete it right a any of these things you can do okay so let's say we want to copy this automatically when you copy or move some stuff it'll go over to the uh, whatever path you have over here and that's where it's going to copy to so if you never used this before that's the default behavior so if you do copy right um, it's just going to copy it over to that uh, folder over here uh, if you would have done this with, what was that, the default uh, file manager, it would be slow as balls, okay? So this one is much more efficient uh, when you're using this. And they do have some other options here if you just drag this sucker over here, right? They can tell you sort by size or, uh, see here, size or extension or day or whatever. You can select them all here. So select all or deselect them all. Right, it's up to you. And you can jump back to home, and you hit home, and you go back to home here. Or you can use here to go back to home also. Right, same thing. Here you can do, uh, what is the other option you can do in here? This one's the same thing. You can, you know, sort by name, extension, size, and date. And this one's for uh, selecting all and unselecting all, which all the options are down here I already explained to you. All right, so that's that. And MKDIR is to make a new folder, so on and so forth. Uh, they do have some preference in here if you want to do that. So you hit 9 for preference here. Uh, mainly in here, you don't really want to change that much, but maybe the font size, if it's too small for you, then you choose a different one. If you want to, let's say, override your default languages, uh, you can do some other crap like, what is this one? It looks like Russian. This one looks like Chinese. Japanese, Korean, and some other shit they have in here. So up to you, right? Um, that's it for that part. Not that hard. Uh, other things you can do. Well, let's go back home here. Where the hell is that? Home. They do have this thing called favorites, and basically this one is um, to keep uh, you know your frequently accessed uh, folders or directories. That you want to jump to quickly right so let's say for example i want to um, add this icon folder to my favorites and i'd use this uh tap and hold on it and i'll give you some different options uh well you can actually create a zip file out of this if you want or uh, you know copy the clipboard create a desktop shortcuts and whatever but down here at the bottom you can add it to your favorites and basically it will add it over here so you have to like, let me see here, go refresh it here. And there you go, we add the icons folder here. And every time you want to jump to that quickly, you just hit top here, you go to home, you go to your favorites, and you click on the folder that you want, and there you go. Really quick to jump to that. So it's kind of like a bookmarking way. Uh, they do have some other stuff in here like uh, the help if you want to read up like how you would uh, use it. And also some of the, uh, what is that, um, symbols in here that you don't understand you can always read up on it right um you can do what is that let me go back to the default home view here now in here um like i said you can use ftp with this which i don't really use but i use a was a ssh here 
this is S FTP, which is SSH uh, or F FTP over SSH here, uh, and you need to install a plugin for that. I don't believe the plugin. It's I don't think I'm not sure if it's open source or not. I know this program is open source uh, GPL three, but uh, I'm not sure about the plugins though. But you need to install the plugins also if you're gonna use uh, the SSH or whatever it is, right? And you can get that in the Play Store. I don't think the plugins is in uh, the F Droid repository, so get it from the Play Store. Um, and you can also use uh, Windows Share, which I think this is like Samba here. So if you have Windows, you can use that to access uh, files on your desktop or whatever it is you have. But I mainly use uh, SFTP. So for example, this is how I would use it to connect to my desktop here. So let's say I want to have my uh, local folder here on my tablet. And over here, I'll use a uh, SFTP and I'll connect it to uh, my SSH server on this desktop. So I already have uh, my server uh, IP set up here. And all I gotta do is type in my password. Let's see here. Right, and then hit OK. And now I'm connecting to my desktop here. And let's go access, uh, I think, my media folder here. And where the hell was that? Downloads. Is that it? No, not downloads. Let's go back. Let's go to pictures. Right. And let's say I want to copy a picture in here. What the fuck? Where's that picture? Maybe this sucker. Let's see here. Maybe this sucker here. And I want to copy it over to uh, this tablet. Really quick, just hit copy. And it sends it over to this folder. Uh, over SSH, uh, you know. And there you go, this is our picture here. And we can open it with, uh, what is that, they have a picture folder here, open ones. And there we go, that's it for that. Uh, so that's it for the program, I really like it for efficiency, I would say, because really when you're using a file manager on Android, it's slow as balls, all right? Especially if you're moving something, you have to like go back and navigate to a different folder, uh, really annoying. And also good if you have uh, if you want to SSH into your desktop, or if you have Windows, you can use the Samba shit, right? Or FTP if you don't know you have like a hosting site or whatever. Um, I think that's about it. Other stuff you can do in here if I think you hold on top here, you hold on top here on this uh, tab bar, you can actually uh, go to different folders, or you can actually edit the folders you want to go to, right? So you can do it that way if you want to type it out if you're using a keyboard. Um, but that's about it for the program. Really cool. Highly recommend it if you're going to use a file manager that's actually efficient too. That'd be it for this one.